Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rukha Kudash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Archie, I'm teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rukha Kudash. Now, as you can see here, this is a, a video uh, that you know I came across. Now, I, I'll be seeing this channel on the algorithm, it's called um, I Got Game. And I'm assuming it's a Jake man that uploads these videos, right? But basically he uploads this um, series and it's called Indian Women Belong to Black Men. And it's basically showing a group of East Indian women, just like random videos the guy comes across or couples. And it's a lot of so-called black men in America are getting these East Indian women. And it's causing quite a stir because I've seen, you know, it's causing a stir even among the Elamites because I checked something out and the Elamite men are getting upset. So these heathen men, you know, because they don't like it when... In, especially when a black man gets with their women, they don't like that. So, but it's a, it's a shift happening in the world, basically. You know, the so-called black man, you know, is, is really, he's, de he's, he's desired. He's always been desired, but now it's just be, being more blatant now. So these heathen women are getting with the Israelite man. And you know, you know, it's in the scriptures that they belong to us anyway. So it's our God-given right you know, to, to, to take them. That's, that includes the women of all the nations, so-called white women, Arab women, Chinese women, they uh, Japanese women, Korean women, they belong to the so-called black man anyway. These heathens were made for us. You see? It's just they've been oppressing us because we've been at the bottom, you know, they've um, had us at the bottom, but there's a shift happening. And you're seeing it now with all these East Indian women and heathen women generally are seeking so-called black men, all right? In particular, the, the so-called African-American man. And that's what's taking place, the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, Levi. So let me play this clip here. And uh, there's a clip, clip it. You know, it's a Jake walking. I think, he's in, I think he was in India with his woman. And the men were basically hating on him. So he was, you know, kind of going into it. So I'm going to play this here. And then, and you know, whenever you see, when you check this channel and these video clips come up, the black men are, look happy, man. And the, which are the tribe of Judah. And the East Indian women that they're with, they look happy, man. They're happy. So, hey, it's the spirit of the Lord, man. There's, there's a shift happening. But I'm walking past a bunch of Indian dudes as well, bro. Groups of Indian dudes. And they staring me down, bro, like with some dirty look. It's known Indian dudes don't fuck with blacks, but they usually stay away. But shorty I was with, everybody could tell she's on my body heavy. But she looked Indian. That's the thing. She looked Indian. It was bad. So hella Indian dudes are staring my bitch in the face. She's like, yo, why everybody keeps staring at me? I'm like, because you with me. You feel me? We're the young, handsome black men. They don't want to see that shit. And it's deep because a lot of dudes feel like, damn, I had two Middle Eastern men, bro. You see, so you heard him say that while he was walking with his girl who looks Indian, the Indian boys were staring at them. And Latino boys do the very same. Well, then he's going off there because, you know, Latinos and so-called Negroes are the are the same people, man. But you know, even if you see the beginning of this, you see this, this Jake. If you want to get to him, with right? these East Indian women, and it's like a theme. This guy uploads these videos. It's Jake men getting with these East Indian women. But you heard what that young Jake said later on in the video that you know they were hating on him. But that's because they're your enemy. See, these nations they don't like it when you get their women. But that's that's part of war. When you conquer nations, you take their women. All right, and that's getting ready to happen again. And they belong to us anyway, but the spirit is having it where now a lot of these heathen women, so lucky I had to catch my breath there, a lot of these heathen women, they're desiring the Israelite, the Israelite man, basically. And it's happening, you know? It's always happened, but it's, it's nowhere at the end, man. So the Lord's raising Jake back up, man. This is what's happening here. So let me read this here. This is Psalms 2 from the top. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Who's the heathens? The heathens is any nation outside of Israel. Who are the Israelites? You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. We're the chosen people, man. All right, and the heathens are who? The Chinese, the Japanese, the East Indians, the so-called Arabs, the so-called white man. And they all have their biblical identities. Moab, Ammon, Esau, you know, Ishmael, the um, Ham, you know? So these are the other nations, the heathens. And it's the script says, why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. And what's the vain thing that they imagine? And what's the rage? The vain things that they imagine is that they're going to have us at the bottom forever. That's a vain imagination. But they actually believe that. They actually think we're just, and they, you know, they're going to keep us at the bottom, you know, under these proverbs and bywords forever. No, that's the vain thing. 
They're vain things that they think we're going to be at the bottom forever. You see? And you know, you know our people are the, are, are the greatest when even in our, low, our lowest estate, we're better than all these other nations. And they know it in their spirits. But the vain thing, you know, is that they're going to keep us down. And particularly, in particular, they're wicked elites. All right? But then let me jump to verse 8. It says, uh, Psalms 2 and 8, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the utmost parts of the earth for thy possession. Yeah, so that's what we're doing now. The brothers in this truth that believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, what are we doing? We're asking of me, asking of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Lord, when are you going to bring these heathens down? When are you going to destroy the so-called white man system, the Edomites? When are you going to bring them down, Lord, which we know is soon? But that's what we do. We pray and we ask the Lord, Lord, bring judgment upon this wicked place. Put, put Israel back on top. Or, you know, come back, Lord Yahweh Shai, and establish your kingdom back on the earth, please, Lord. That's what we are. So ask of me. That's what we do, the brothers in this faith that believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Yeah, these other nations, they are inheritance anyway. They were made for us. The scripture says the world was made for the Israelites' sake. But the reason we're not, we don't have a possession in this world or a stake in this world is because the Lord, you know, has brought us low. He's brought us into a lower state to, to be punished. So ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the utmost parts of the earth for thy possession. Meaning, we're, basically, we're going to inherit the, the nations as our slaves, you know, and the, all the planet, we're going to inherit it back. And that's the times that we're in. The after the judgment of the so-called white man society, after these nuclear missiles, we're going to build up the kingdom of heaven and the other nations are going to do it do it for us because they're going to be in, in captivity. You see, it says, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Exactly. So we're going to have the king's scepters and punish the heathen nations. This is the future. All right. We're going to have the king's scepters and punish the heathen nations. They're going to build up our walls, man. They're going to build up Jerusalem. Okay. So let me go into Isaiah 14 here. They're going to build up our kingdom just like we built their kingdom for free. They're going to build us. This is the future. But the difference is with our society, the children of Israel, when we get our kingdom back, we're going to rule forever. We're never going down. Our kingdom is going to be everlasting. So let me read this here. This is um, Isaiah 14 from the top. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Yeah, the Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the only mercy and salvation, you know, from all the coming tribulation that's coming on the earth is going to be for the children of Israel. That's it. And set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the, them strangers are talking about Israelite foreigners. All right. The strangers are talking about our people that were scattered because our people have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth due to what? Slavery, the curses. So our people are all over the world. Iran, Iraq, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Ghana, Senegal, Algeria, our people are all over the planet. So when Yahweh Shai comes, he's going to gather his people from all over the world. But the predominant place we've been scattered is where? America. Because that was the main land of our slavery. All right? So the Lord's going to join us back together again. So when the, when, when the scriptures talk about Gentiles, there's two types of Gentiles. There's the natural Gentiles, which are the other nations, the actual heathens. So actual East Indians, the bloodline of the real East Indians, the real Elamites, the bloodline of the real Edomites. But then among those nations, our people are mingled. All right. So when then you get the, the natural Gentiles, then you get the Gentile Israelites. So Israelites that have been scattered among them. So this is what this is talking about here. The strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob because they're Israelites. And then this verse here, it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. This is actually talking about the natural Gentiles now. This is talking about the actual heathens right now. All right. We're going to bring them. So these are the nations. They're going to be bought in chains, you know, to build up our walls, man. And the, the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them, possess them. OK, meaning own them, the heathens in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. So we're going to make their men servants and their women, you know, and, and handmaids. And their women are going to be our handmaids and also our concubines. Because when we rule, when Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the children of Israel get back this society, the world, the rulership, you know, the other nations, women, they're going to be our concubines. All right. And that's that is that's the future. See, so 
the fact that they're getting with these Israelite men now, you know, is, is signs of what's coming in the future. Here is they're getting with so-called black men now in our lower state. We're in slavery with all these nations above us. And these other women's nations, the other na the women of the other nations still want to get with a so-called black man. So that's these are signs of what's coming. So it says, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were. They were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And who's, who's oppressed us, man? The so-called white man, the Chinese, the Japanese, all these other nations have been on top of us, oppressing us. So what did the Lord say? They shall take them captives whose captives they were. We were captives under the so-called white man, were we not? Yes. So in our kingdom, they're going to be our captives. This is a future prophecy. They're going to be our captives, man. And, and part, of our, part of our reward is their women, you know, being servants to us, being concubines to, to the men of our nation. This is the future, all right? Isaiah 60 and 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Exactly, and the sons of strangers, that's talking about the sons of these other nations, they shall build up thy walls, they're going to build the walls of Jerusalem, everywhere we rule on the planet, we're not, the so-called black man, the Negro, Latino, Native American, the Israelite man's not going to do nothing, the other nations, they're going to build up our walls for us, in what you call captivity or slavery, you see? And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee but in my favor have i had mercy on thee yeah so in the lord's anger he smote us meaning he brought judgment on us all right he brought us low he brought us into a lower state in this the conditions we're in now but in his favor he's gonna have mercy on us what's his favor when he delivers us he saves us and puts us back on top man through through the, the only begotten son whose name is yahweh yahweh is the father and in the name of yahweh but hashem in the name of yahweh which is the son all right, of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he's going to save us and he's going to have mercy on us and put us back on top and he's going to give us the power to shackle up all these other nations. All right, and we're going to build up the next, the new world, the righteous world, which is going to be for his people, the Israelites. All right, it says, Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually, they shall bring, they shall not be shut day nor night that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and that their kings may be brought. Exactly. So the gates, meaning our, 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 the gates of our society, our world, our, basically our, the gates of Jerusalem are going to be open continually. They're going to bring us their women. They're going to bring us their spices. They're going to bring us gold, silver, whatever our hearts desire, they're going to be bringing it to us. So, and that's talking about all the other nations outside of the Israelites. They're gonna, their gates are going to be, the gates of our kingdom are going to be open continually. You see, that they may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, their goods, and their kings may be bought. So all these rulers of these other nations, they're going in slavery too. So the top people of the, the Japanese world, they're going in slavery. The top people of the Edomite world, the Jewish banking families, they're going in slavery. All the top, uh, top uh, heathen kings, they're all going down beneath the children of Israel. This is the future prophecy. And there's nothing you can do about it. All right? There's nothing you other nations can do about it. There's nothing the two-thirds of our people that are bugged out, that love everyone. There's nothing you can do about it. You're just all going to be put down, man. Okay? So it says, For the nation and the kingdom, for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Alright? So yeah, that's the judgment. We're going to have the power where if you don't do what we say, you're going to be wasted. But it ain't going to get to that because they're going to be so in awe of our authority and power, you know, and the the, the hell we're going to put on them, they, you know, they're going to obey, all right? Because this is going to be power from the heavens beyond what people here have can fathom, what earthly beings can fathom, you see? So I'm going to jump to verse 14. It says, The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee. Yeah, that's all these other nations. Like that Jake was saying in the video, he was walking with his East Indian woman, and all those East Indian men were, you know, basically... You know, you know, you know what they're thinking, the N-word is with our woman, what the hell are you doing? You know, they want to oppress him, basically, which they have been. They've been oppressing our people. They've afflicted us. They've afflicted our people, man. All these nations, they come together as a conglomerate, you know, and they've, affl they've afflicted our, our people. They've afflicted you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. So the sons of them, these other nations, all right? All right? 
The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. The Lord's going to make them bow, man. You know, that's the power the Lord's coming with, and he's going to make these other nations bow, all right, and, and put, put them in servitude, okay, at the soles of thy feet. And, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. And, they, and they're going to know once again who we are when the Lord... You know, destroys America and establishes his people back again on top of the world, basically. And all these other nations that truly belong to us, really, that are our servants, really, they're, they're going right back where they belong, beneath us, man. Okay? And this is the future. So, you know, with that, I'm going to say, All praises unto Yahweh, Bashemi Hawashai, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Archim that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rachel, Kwadash. Shalom, Shalom.